In this tutorial, we are going to explore how to set up a voice thread assignment inside of Blackboard Ultra. To begin, you'll navigate to your module. In my example, I have a week one module. I'll open this, and I'll navigate down inside the template to where I normally would keep week one assignments. I'll go ahead and I'll open this module or this folder inside the module. Once I'm inside the weekly folder that resides inside the module, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add some new content at the bottom here. So I'll navigate down to below where my last content is. And when I see this little purple line with the plus circle, I'll select this. When the menu pops up, what I'll select is Content Market. Now here's where you can get into a little bit of trouble. When the content market loads, you're going to search for the voice thread tool. And this is the most likely place that you'll make a mistake. You should not select on the voice thread icon itself. To add the tool, you need to select on the plus symbol in the voice thread in the lower right hand corner. Please do not make this mistake. If you forget to do this, you're going to have some problems uh, moving forward with this. Once we've set that up, you'll notice now that I have a VoiceThread link here that will take me to VoiceThread. It's currently hidden from students. We know that when we're ready, we can make this visible to students. But right now what I want to do is I want to make some edits to this VoiceThread. So when we select, I'm going to go back. When we look at our VoiceThread link here, here's where you can go wrong. When you first select VoiceThread, you'll notice that it launches, but you'll notice that there is no assignment builder. Normally that would be here under the home area. So we need to figure out how to create the assignment builder. To do this, what you'll do is you'll exit out and on your VoiceThread, You'll go to the three dots and select Edit. Once Edit has been selected, I'm going to change the name of this. I'll call this Week 3, or sorry, Week 1, Voice Thread Assignment. And then under the description, I'm going to go ahead and type in Please um, complete the voice thread assignment. Obviously, you could be more specific about that. Here's what you must remember to do, though. Once you've done that, you have to come down to where it says create gradebook entry for this item, and this has to be selected. This is going to populate where you set the due date and time. It's also going to allow you to choose your grading scale in points, percentages, or letter. And then you have to assign your point value here. I'll go ahead and I'll make this 100 points. Um, I just find it easier to stick on a 100 point scale for everything. And then where um, you select it here, you have the option to make this either an assignment or homework or any other category. Normally you're going to want to use assignment. Once I do that, I'll select save in the lower right hand corner. And now what I want to direct your attention to is let's go back to this week one voice thread assignment and let's see what happens when I select this. Notice the LTI opens up and now the assignment builder is available for us. Basically what this means is it will be able to populate to the Grade Center as we would like. So what I can do here is now I can select the Assignment Builder and I can choose the type of assignment that I'd like students to complete. They can either be responsible for creating their own voice thread, they can submit comments to a video or a PowerPoint that you leave, or you can just have them watch a voice thread. Probably the two most common would either be to create a voice thread where students will actually record themselves in a video format or 
submit a comment to a pre-existing. In this example, we'll go ahead and we'll select submit a comment. And what I'll do here is now that I've selected submit a comment, I'm going to go ahead and try and upload a very basic PowerPoint presentation. You'll notice that VoiceThread is open on the side here. And I'm going to navigate over to the left hand side and where it says create a new voice thread, I'm going to select this. And now it's going to ask me to add media or drop files here. When you select this, you'll have the option to either browse files from your computer, work through media sources in the cloud, do audio recordings, record a webcam photo, record webcam video, or link to a URL. We'll go ahead and since this is a PowerPoint that I'm going to use, I'm going to select something from my computer. And on the desktop, I'm going to select a voice thread. So I go to the folder that I want and I'm going to select a PowerPoint presentation. And this is just an example. And I'll go ahead and notice that voice thread over here on the left hand side is starting to convert this and we'll call this week one PowerPoint. And I might even say assignment. Enter a description. Please comment on the PowerPoint. Obviously you can be more specific if you'd like. And then for the tags, I might put in week one for this. Under playback options, you'll probably just want to leave the default options selected. Um, but if you'd like to explore this more, feel free to. And then if you really um, want to go above and beyond, you can always select a cover art image for this. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Then I'll select save. And now you'll notice that we've been guided through multiple steps. We've gone through the add media, we've gone through the add comments, and now highlighted in blue here, it's create assignment. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. And we'll get another pop-up. And again, it wants a comment here. So we'll go ahead and um, we'll say in terms of description, please leave one comment for your peers. And you can change the comments uh, amount required. Once I've done that, I'll navigate over here and notice that by default, the create assignment and share with class, moderate comments, and allow students to resubmit comments are all checked. I'll select create assignment. And now what I'll do is I will return to course. Now this can be a little bit finicky. Yep, and it's gonna do it. Notice that I put that in week one, and don't panic. Notice that week one kind of disappears here. I've noticed this to be a little bit of a hiccup inside of Ultra. To solve this, all I'm gonna do is leave the course momentarily, and I'm gonna go back into the course. Now when I go into the week one module, and I navigate into my assignments area, we're gonna navigate down to where it says week one voice thread assignment. We'll select this. And this is where you'll be able to um, link out and view the voice thread and you'll be able to see who's submitted, not submitted and do your grading. I'll go ahead and select this. And you can see that here I have a slide presentation. And notice that I am the person that is in the driver's seat here as the content creator for this. And if I wanted to leave some comments over this, I could do that. And I could choose to either record a video comment or I could choose to um, do a microphone audio comment or a phone comment or even text throughout here. I hope that you found this tutorial useful. For more information on how to set up assignments using VoiceThread inside of Blackboard Ultra, 
please feel free to visit us at the Faculty Center for the Advancement of Teaching and Learning.